15 Things Poor People Get Wrong About Money. Welcome to ALUX.com, the place where future billionaires come to get inspired. Hello, Aluxers. We hope you're sitting comfortably because today we're probably going to upset some people with our observations. Yes, we're going to do another one of these videos where we dive deep into the poor person mindset and break it apart. Poverty is not a disease, it's a lifestyle. That means people are not suffering from poverty. Rather, people are living in poverty. Lifestyles can always be upgraded. A poor man can always work his way to a better life. The most common reasons why people end up in poverty have more to do with the individual than with the external factors, because in the majority of cases, there are multiple actions to be taken before poverty strikes, which said individuals fail to take. You heard the excuses before, there aren't many opportunities, or I live in a shitty country. Then move. Do what it takes to relocate. End of story. Unless you're talking about war or a natural disaster that takes everything away in an instant, poverty is something an individual has complete control over because it's directly linked to one's capacity of taking action against it. By the end of this video, you should be able to self-check if you've still got some beliefs that are holding you back. While some people will get annoyed and outraged, the true Aluxers will look at this objectively and see if there's anything of value that can be implemented in their own lives in order to get themselves closer to their goal. If you're new here, welcome. Be sure to subscribe and follow us on Instagram at Alux. If you know anyone who's struggling with their mindset, please send them this video with our regards. They'll know you care about them. With that said, here are 15 things poor people get wrong about money. Number 1. Poor people think that rich people are evil. Poor people are kings and queens in justifying their lack of achievement on external factors, which are keeping them down. To be brutally honest, everything that pushed humanity forward was the result of extensive resources dedicated to progress. Nothing could have been built if it wasn't for the rich. Poor people always assume others got rich by breaking the rules, stepping over people, scamming and deceiving others, not to mention most people think that you cannot become a millionaire without engaging in some sort of illegal activity. This is in part based on their experience trying to accumulate wealth. To put it simply, they themselves failed, and since most people think of themselves as the sharpest tool in the shed, they cannot comprehend how someone else could have made it without doing something bad. That money must have come from somewhere in their experience watching movies produced in Hollywood. It's always something fishy. We're not saying there aren't bad people who get rich doing illegal things. That's actually the fastest way to riches. But there are people who followed the rules and through hard work, smarts, and sacrifices got similar financial results with none of the downside. Poor people always think of the rich as evil, but when it comes to drawing a line, the world is a much better place because of the rich than it is because of the mediocre or the poor. When's the last time poor people financed medicinal research or space travel? Number 2. Poor People Think The Rich Got Lucky Many poor people think that anyone who is rich is either evil, as we mentioned in the previous point, or was born like that and used their resources to further their growth by taking the little that's left from the poor. Just to break your bubble, out of all the billionaires in the world, two in three billionaires are self-made, which means they don't inherit the fortune from a previous generation. Instead, they build a company, create a product or service that filled a need in the marketplace, which people or other companies paid money for, resulting in them getting rich. Even if you take a look at in the Middle East, where royalty is still strong, 58% of the billionaires there are self-made. In the US, 69% are self-made. In Hong Kong, 71% are self-made. In Russia, 100% are considered self-made. Okay, okay, maybe Russia might not be the best example, but you get the point. Europe is somewhere around half and half, because historically there is exponentially more old money in Europe than anywhere else. The world is transitioning from inherited wealth to self-built wealth. Even in developing countries, we're seeing more and more billionaires pop up. We know you're curious to know this. In India, only 21% of the billionaires are self-made. That's because there are only a little over 100 billionaires in India, and they've just started going after it. Luck is an important part of life, but it's nowhere near enough to get you a million dollars or more. The sooner the poor understand what luck really is, the sooner they can get themselves out of the hole they dug themselves into. 
Luck in the real world translates to opportunities. There are opportunities all around us, in your country, in your city, in your industry, and related to the things that you're passionate about. You're just not educated enough to see these opportunities yet. The rich are not only actively looking for opportunities, but they position themselves so they can take action when this happens. Number 3. Poor people say that money doesn't grow on trees. Leave a like on this video if you've ever heard someone say that. Money doesn't grow on trees. We'll wait. The thing is, money actually grows if you plant the right seeds. Let that sink in for a little bit. Money grows if you plant the right seeds. Now, that saying's not to be taken literally, of course, it's a metaphor. Poor people stay poor because they don't know how to plant seeds and how to grow these crops. Here's what that actually means. If you work hard and collect enough money, you can plant said money in a smart investment, like buying an apartment, which you rent out. That's what planting the seed is. Afterwards, you just need to look after it a little while and it'll start bearing fruit. The fruit is the rent money. The poor never quite understood the idea that money can generate more money because as soon as they get it, they spend it instead of planting seeds. Number four, poor people always say they don't do it for the money. How many people do you know are struggling financially but justify it by saying they didn't want to sell out or they didn't do it for the money? Money is your livelihood, it's the fuel on which this world works. The poor always fail to understand that they don't need to sell your soul to make a buck. Instead, you should grow yourself and find ways to monetize your passions. Do what you love is terrible advice, and if you've been following this channel for a while, you should know that already. One should focus on obtaining security and freedom first, and then see how they can sustain their passions. Instead, poor people make the bad call of not taking care of the essentials first, resulting in a fragile structure upon which they want to build a solid life. It's bound to fail. Number 5. Poor people say that money is the root of all evil. This has to do with the level of importance people attribute to money, because they've always seen it as divisive. Please listen up, because what we're about to tell you could dramatically change the way you think about money. Okay, here it is. Money doesn't change people. It shows who they really are. Let me repeat that. Money doesn't change people. It shows who they really are. Guess what? If you're a shitty person and you get rich, you're just a shitty person with money. Money is something you have, not something you are. The thing about wealth is that in order to acquire it, you have to make a ton of sacrifices. Work really hard for extended periods of time, be under enormous amounts of stress, and in the small likelihood you're actually going to get it, people will only see the end result. Rich people and poor people have different perspectives on life. The rich know how hard it was to get there, and the poor don't. Number 6. Poor people never understood growth. Poor people think that success just happens. They never have a game plan, a strategy, a blueprint of what it would take for them to get to where they want to go. We're going to give you the golden rule of growth. Here it is. Success is the sum of small positive actions repeated daily for extended periods of time. You don't get a six pack by going to the gym once. You want to be successful in having a toned body? You need to keep hitting the gym. It's the same process in life or business. It's not going to be enough to read one business book. You gotta keep on reading. It's not enough to go to a business conference once. You gotta keep going. It's not enough that you made some progress so far. You know what I'm about to say. You gotta keep going. That's how you build success, one brick at a time. You will need to actively invest your resources, your time, your effort, and even your money to make it happen. Number seven, poor people put themselves in bad situations and never leave. How many people have you seen doing jobs they don't love where they aren't even getting paid that well? How many people do you know that despite being in a toxic relationship, never break it off and settle for unhappiness? They always justify this by thinking that at least this is an evil I know, which I'm familiar with. Somehow in their mind, they fail to believe that there could be something better if they only tried. It all boils down to the choices you make. Unless you're a worker in a slave camp, you're free to try. You just need to have the balls to do it. 
The problem is, they're aware that their situation isn't good. It isn't what they wanted, what they hoped it would be. But they never do anything about it. They take out new debts to pay back old debts, and they're just spiraling downwards. Number 8. Poor people think that hard work is the key to riches. If hard work was the only thing that it took to be successful, the world would be run by people in coal mines or the guys hunting for crab in the north. Hard work is incredibly important, but it's just one of many different skill sets that determines if you're going to make it or not. Financial success requires discipline, intellect, and emotional intelligence in addition to sacrifice. It doesn't matter how hard you work, if the type of work you do is not going to get you where you want to be. Albert Einstein said that the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again, expecting different results. The first step to escape the hard work maze is to take a step back and figure out what it would actually take. Number 9. Poor people think it's their destiny to be poor. That's how poor people justify their reality. They blame it on external factors. God wants you to be poor, to struggle, so you can have anything you want in heaven. This is one of those lies the church made up in order to keep the peasants from rioting, and the idea is stuck around even today. We're not here to debate whether or not there is a god and which one is the real one, but if we were going to go along with a fairy tale and we're all God's children, what parent wants to see their children struggle? If there is a god, he wants to see you all in your glory, make the largest impact, help as many people as possible. Guess what? You can't help anyone if you can't even help yourself. The problem with thinking that your destiny is to be poor is that it puts your life outside of your control. You can't do anything about it because your destiny has already been written. Snap out of it! Number 10. Poor people hope to win money instead of earning it. Because, you know, earning money is hard. How many poor people do you know that play the lottery? That sign up for giveaways or want something for nothing? We've touched upon this in the past, but in today's society, you have a way better shot at becoming a multi-millionaire by creating your own company and working for it than by winning the lotto. Believe it or not, it's not the end prize that is the big reward. It's the feeling you get when you overcome a difficult situation, solving a difficult problem, making an impact. Poor people always hope to win the frosting on the cake instead of learning how to bake one and make the frosting themselves. Those are the people who think there is a secret to making money that you just don't know yet. And, you know, the rich are guarding this secret with their lives somewhere in an underground dungeon. Number 11. Poor people think money is about comfort. If you ask any poor person what being rich means, he will always tell you it means having a big house, a luxury car, expensive clothes, and usually a hot trophy wife. We don't make money in order to have these things. We make money so we get to be free to do whatever we want. All those things mentioned above are the result of that freedom. When you're free, nobody's controlling your life. You're in charge of your destiny, so you can do what anyone would do. You go out and you get yourself even more freedom. Money allows you to be who you really want to be. That's why the rich are after it. Poor people think that money is about having comfort. How wrong they are. If this was the case, why would any billionaire keep working? Poor people got it wrong. We actually enjoy working. It gives our life meaning. We do it because through our work, through innovation, and with the use of extensive financial resources, you're actively making the world better. Money comes from you solving other people's problems and making their lives easier. It's that simple. Number 12. Poor people look at results instead of process. It's easy to look at the end result and think to yourself, oh, how successful someone is. I want to do something special at this point. The current richest man in the world as of writing this video is Jeff Bezos, the founder of Amazon. With over $100 billion, you can say the man is quite successful. It's easy to look at the end result and be amazed at the life he's living right now. But this wasn't always the case. I want you to look at this picture, carefully stare at it. This is where Jeff started. This is the first office of Amazon.com, and it wasn't even an office. It was a desk in a garage where he was the only employee. The world didn't magically get this guy from selling books over the internet to launching rockets into space. Poor people especially never know about what happened in the middle, the sleepless nights, the struggles, the sacrifices that had to be made. 
The poor always strive for progress, but if you know where you're going, any tiny step towards it is relevant. Number 13. Poor people can't differentiate good advice from bad advice. Have you noticed how poor people always have these weird sayings which they heard either from their poor parents or relatives and guide their life according to those? Your ability to differentiate good advice from bad advice is incredibly important if you want to turn the scales in your favor. While the rich take advice from people they admire, the poor take advice from people they trust. The problem is, most of the time the people you trust don't have a greater game plan or a diverse perspective from yourself. Everyone loves throwing around advice because it makes them feel better about themselves without the implication that the advice could have on the person who's being gifted the advice. We made a video called 15 Pieces of Dumb Advice Unsuccessful People Give, which breaks down all the stupid advice, like follow your passion or just be yourself. You can watch it by clicking in the top right corner. Number 14. Poor people think they know it all. Every successful person we've met is interested in learning more. They don't talk about themselves. They want to hear your story. They want to know what you do, your struggles, how you overcame them, what tools you've used, and freely recommend each other resources to aid their growth. At the opposite end of the spectrum, the poor people always want to shine because deep down all the poor are insecure about themselves and their current reality. They believe they know it all. They've been through it all. And guess what? They know for a fact any real advice you could give them doesn't work. Otherwise, they wouldn't be where they are today. Their inability to actively listen and comprehend the depth of the information is what's keeping many of them from growing and reaching their potential. Never be too proud to admit what you know and what you don't. Number 15. Poor people think that money is real. If there's one secret the rich know that the poor don't, it's that money isn't actually real. It's all made up. When poor people think of money, they've always thought about it as something real, something tangible, something that has value. In reality, money doesn't exist. It's just pieces of paper with funny images on them or digits on a screen. It's impossible to see behind the curtain if you're poor. The illusion is too good. But once you get enough of it, carefully examine it, and you realize something that changes your life dramatically. Money is just a way of keeping score. It's not something real. We're curious to know, Aluxers, in your experience, what are some other things poor people get wrong about money? Please share your experience and knowledge in the comments. We'll be sure to reply to some of you. And you know it wouldn't be an Alux.com video without a reward for watching all the way to the end. So here it is. Number 16. Poor people have a hard time understanding what we mean about number 15. Even if you're financially educated, you might struggle to get our last point because you still think of money as real. Let us explain. Money is only real if you don't have enough of it. That's when money has value. Once you've got money in excess, you don't think of it as valuable. The items you exchange the money for might be valuable, but unless you make the trade, that money is just digits on a screen. The illusion worked because for ages, we've looked at money in the form of cash. And you could actually touch the piece of paper with the funny drawings, but there was little to no value in that paper. The modern entrepreneurs look at money as a way of keeping score. It's just numbers on a screen, similar to when you're playing a strategy game. It's just another resource that you get to distribute in order to further your game plan. The second you're no longer emotionally tied to money, you can go ahead and truly be free. Now, if you've watched up to this point and really understood what we meant toward the end, please write money isn't real in the comment section. In the past, people who closed out the video too soon have always been kind of tripped out about what the true Aluxers do in the comments, so we'll try to reply to you guys first. Thank you for spending some time with us, Aluxers. Make sure to like and subscribe so you never miss another video. We also handpicked these videos, which we recommend you watch next. Thank you for being an Aluxer, and we'll see you back tomorrow.